Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create captions on your videos. I was gonna say closed captions, but they can be either open or closed captions with the Adobe Premiere Pro's caption feature. This is really helpful as it allows you to just basically type out every single sentence and then input them so it changes them automatically for you. Really, really neat tool, so let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out of here and we'll go over into the project and delete that one as well. And let's start from scratch. So what I need to do is I need to go up here to file, new and then go down to captions it's right here uh under the black video captions you can also use this button right here the the um new tab and there's captions in there as well this is where you can change it between open and closed captions what the difference is is that closed captions can be turned on and off while open captions are continually on your video so if i made these closed captions i could edit them create them and they'd look good but whenever i export them by default they'll usually be off so no one will see them unless they click on a button in like vlc or windows media player to turn those captions on really helpful if you're making professional content to um address the deaf community so that you can actually have people watch your videos and understand them without audio. It's really good to uh, increase accessibility. But we're gonna be going over open captions today, so let's go down here and click on the open captions. Click on the okay button and you'll see over here that we have a captions little uh, sequence footage created over here. And what we can do is we can just click that and drag it on into our sequence. And now you'll see that we have the captions going. And if you, you know, make it bigger, smaller, you'll see that it's exactly like it just says type caption text here. Nothing's happening. And to edit it, that means we need to go up into our captions uh, panel right here. If the captions panel is not open, go up into window and you can see captions right here. It'll open it up somewhere around here and then just drag it to wherever you feel comfortable editing the captions. We need to then click on our captions right here and you'll see that it opens up in the caption panel over here. And now you'll see that it says type caption text here, type caption text here. We are good to go to start moving around our captions. So let's get started. Let me just start with what I'm over. My first line always is, hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. So that would be my first one. And now I kind of want to edit the overall appearance of this caption because when I'm editing it, I want to keep changing it when it fills up the screen. So if I move the text later on, then the entirety of my captions will be cut off and I'll have to redo all of them. So we need to adjust the size and the font first. Um, let's choose a random one. Let's go Broadway. That sounds kind of cool. Okay, I can see how that's called Broadway. We're going to go with Broadway for this. We're then going to increase the size right here. Um, and that looks pretty good for this caption, but we don't want this background. So we're gonna go over here into background color and we're going to reduce the opacity. And let me explain this right here. So this is the background color, the text color, and then the stroke color, which is called edge right here. And this over here is the opacity. So when you click on one of them, it changes them around and you can kind of, you know, manipulate them. Now, if you wanna add edge on here, for some reason, if you try to go from edge, it doesn't work. So click on the text color and then increase the edge. And you'll see that when it goes red, that means you've added the edge because that's for some reason default color. And now once we have edge on it, then we can go over to edge color and then we can change that to something like black. So now we have a good black outline. You can see it also makes it slightly bigger. So maybe we need to reduce down the size a touch until it is back where we want it to go. And then let's see, let's adjust this over a little bit. And I'm just kind of moving this around so that we try to get it centered. And that looks good right there. So now we have kind of what our style is going to be for these captions. So the next thing we need to do is we need to align it with the audio. And this is a little bit tedious. There's no real quick way unless you maybe have some translator that can save all the audio for you. But you're still going to have to copy and paste it into here in different intervals. So what we have here is like right here is what I say if you'll listen right here. Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. Now that's where I end the here, so I need to switch the captions into the next part. So you'll see right here we have this little um, end thing right here, and we're gonna align that and lock it into place right onto where we are. And so you'll see right there, it ends it out. And then the next thing we do is we type in the next one. So we listen again. Today I'm gonna be showing you so, and today I'm gonna be showing you. So we go up here, back to where this other one ended. We click the plus button, it's gonna add it to the end over here. And then now we can type in something like, and today I'm going to be showing you. I think how to is the next word. So we're gonna go there. So now we listen until we get to the end of the how to. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to 
and that ends right here. And then we do that process over and over again, adding new ones, listening, typing it back out, and then suddenly we have these captions that are going to change with your voice. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to work and that is basically it on the captions. Really, really easy to add into Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, and like I said, you can make them open or closed depending on how you want to add them and how you want to affect your project. That's it, everybody. Thanks for joining me. If you got any questions on this, go ahead and throw those in the comments below. I'll answer them. Maybe I didn't cover something that you wanted covered. Throw those in the questions, the comments, and I will try to answer them. Uh, if you want to see more Adobe-related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post videos every other day. And yeah, that's about it. Till next time, guys. See ya.